Hello and welcome to this tutorial for Microsoft Excel users and in this tutorial we're going to continue looking at line charts and this time working with multiple series. And here we have a table of data comparing the performance of four stores, north, south, east and west and monitoring their sales over a period of seven months. So to create a chart for this data I'm going to do just the first three stores so here I'm going to select the range of cells from A2 down to H5. Again come to insert and line chart options and this time we're going to choose the first option in the second row and that's the line chart with markers already applied. And I'll just drag that chart across so we can see it a little bit better and also go to the bottom right with the mouse until we get the two-way arrow and I can then resize that chart a little bit. And here we do need the legend box because we obviously have three series of data. It's obviously a good idea to tell people what each of the colors mean. You'll see in the vertical axis we have the axis starting at zero and ending at $2,500. However, I've also done some calculations to tell me what the lowest and the highest values in the table of the data are. So the lowest is 850 and the highest is 2000. So what I can do now is come back to my chart to double click on that vertical axis, change the minimum value from auto to fixed and just type in there, I'll put in 700. In the maximum, again click on fixed and we'll change that from 2500 to 2200, which takes us a bit closer to the actual values in the table. Let's close that down. And what you'll see is that the changes in data points are much more exaggerated because we change the values in the axis. That's quite a common thing to do, as I mentioned before. Now at this point, I'd like to add on the values for my West store, which obviously aren't there at the moment. And there's a couple of ways I can do that. One simple way is to simply click on the chart area. And when I do that, you'll notice that in the table of data, we can see these little dots highlighting and the the lines highlighting where the data actually is and all I need to do here is actually go to the bottom right of that data set click on the bottom right point and just drag down one row and you'll immediately see the chart updates with that new set of data easy as that you can also do the opposite if I want to remove some data points I can also go back to my little table there just click and drag up two this time and you'll see it takes east and west out. I could also move it so I could just click and drag by putting my mouse pointer to somewhere away from the dots on the line. You get a full way arrow then. And I can actually drag down here two rows, remove the mouse, and now we get east and west showing instead of north and south. So you can experiment with different displays of data by clicking and dragging. I can also actually reduce the number of months that are shown by putting the mouse pointer over the bottom left there. And I can click and actually drag in. So at the moment, my chart when I release the mouse button will only show the values from March to July. So I've compressed the number of months that I'm showing. And then I can just reverse that by going again to the bottom left there of that box. Click and drag to the left and that will take us back and show the January and February data. I can then come back to that table and I'll just go to the top right of that selection, drag up, and again we have all four stores included. So when you do that, all you need to do is, I'll just click away first of all, click onto the chart, you'll notice that these boxes appear around the chart and then you can simply click and drag and manipulate the data as you like. Now you've seen how easy it is to click and drag and change the appearance of the chart and reduce or increase the amount of data displayed. That also applies if somebody adds new data. And we'll add in August. Press enter and let's um, add some values in for these shops in August. Let's say North uh, does a thousand. Let's say the South does 900. East 1350 and West does 1800. Okay, so let's say we need to add these values to our chart. We simply click on it. Again, we get the little markers indicating the range that's already 
included in the chart. Just put your mouse bottom right of that range over the blob, click and drag, and just make sure that the border highlights everything that you want included. Release the mouse button, and on the chart we now have August included, as you can see. And it's as easy as that. So there's an overview of how to create, format and modify line charts. Hope you found that useful. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.